Hey everyone, this is David here from Sheets Finance. In this video, I'll show you how to build this global watch list in Google Sheets using the Sheets Finance extension. I'll show you how to pull in all of this data with just a few simple functions, which you won't even need to write yourself because you can use our built-in function generator. In fact, you'll start to realize that most of this video is concerned with formatting the sheet because getting the data into it in the first place is by far the easiest part. The sheet is entirely dynamic and I can change stocks here on the left hand side and the sheet will update to reflect the latest real time information. And yes, that is the real loading time for all of this data. Through the use of batch functions, we can optimize the data delivery and keep your sheet incredibly speedy. All right, let's dive into it. Okay, here is our blank sheet and a list of 50 stocks that we want in our watch list. First, we'll open up the function generator from the drop down menu. The first few sections are going to be company information. So I'm going to click up here in cell B1. I'm going to head to the right hand side and I'm going to specify that my stocks are in A2 to A51. I'll then head to the real time and historical section go to company info and we want to start our watch list with uh, name, stock exchange and sector and we'll put the country in as well. And I'll generate that. And there you have it. Uh, you'll see that I am generating it with the header. I can of course specify to not include the header row but in this scenario, the header is perfect. Um, okay, next up, we're gonna do some spark lines. Um, those are small graphs that sit in the cell in Google Sheets. So I'm gonna call this one, one year performance. And I'll call this one, one month of volume. So in the one year performance, I'm now clicking on cell F2. I'm gonna head back click these three dots just to go back to my various options of the function generator and I'm going to choose sparkline. In this case we can't apply sparklines to um, a batch of functions so I'm only going to select A2. I'm going to say price and I'm going to say give me the price performance over the last year or 365 days. So I will click generate And that is our graph of Apple over the last year. And we'll do the same for volume. Um, the only thing we now need to change on this side is we need to just change to volume. And each time I click generate, it is of course generating the function up here that is in the function display in my currently highlighted cell. So I've just moved that across to G2. So I'm gonna click generate to get my one month volume graph, uh, whoops. One month is only 30 days, not 365 days. Great, so that's 30 days of volume, one year of performance. I'm now gonna take these functions and I'm just gonna drag them all the way down. And this is um, 100 functions running at once. So this will take um, a moment to just load up. So in the meantime, we can just keep moving on to the next part of our watch list. Okay. In this next section, we are gonna have the price change information. So uh, I'll go back to real time and historical. I'm gonna change this back to a batch of cells. So A1 all the way down to A51. And I'm gonna head to price change. And what I want is the real time change for the last month, three months and one year to just keep track of how the stocks are performing. And I'll click generate. And there we go, that is the percentage price change for the stocks over a one month period, three month period and one year period. It's a few too many decimal places, so we'll just bring that back. Um, Great, and again, we've included the header, and again, this is a batch function, so this is just one function that sits in cell H1, and then all of this data uh, stems from that one function. In fact, I can't even delete 
the data in these cells because um, the only way to actually delete it would be to remove this function up here that is displaying all of that data. So moving on, we want um, our real-time information. So this is the current price, the change, and open, high, low, close. So I'm now going to sell K1. I'll head back to real-time, and I want the current price. Then after that, I want to list the change percentage right next to the price so I can keep track. And then let's go open, high, low, close. Um, you'll see that the order that I place these is the order that'll come up in like uh, in the actual data output, so that's important. Um, I then want the volume, the average volume, and then a bit of company information as well. So how about the market cap, EPS, and the PE ratio? Uh, you can see there's a bunch more items that I'm not including, but um, this is already a pretty expansive watch list, so we'll keep it at that. So I'll click Generate. And that's it. That's all the data. That's just the raw data pulled in, um, and that's in only a few minutes, uh, if that. I'll just format this as a percentage. Um, and... The next part of this video will just be concerned with formatting this sheet. Um, but if you weren't worried about nice colors or you just wanted the information in, well, this is all you need to watch. Uh, the last part I'll point out is I can head to the drop down menu and I can refresh uh, real time. And that will target this real time section here on the right hand side and it will reload it. And because it's a batch function and it lives here in cell K1, that is the speed of the reload. So all of that data is now reloaded and it's pulling in the latest information from Sheets Finance's servers. So you have up-to-date information in less than a second. Cool, we'll continue on with the formatting. Okay, so just to make this a little bit easier on the eyes, I'm going to slightly gray this um, non-real-time company information. Next, I want these spark lines to have a coloring depending on whether uh, the performance of the stock over the last year is positive or negative. I have that information here in the one-year change in column J. So what I can do is I can go format, conditional formatting. Uh, I can then tell it to do a custom function. And in that one, I can say, uh, equals if, and then I can say J2 is greater than or equal to zero, then true, else false, then say done. Oops, didn't do the close bracket. And then I can do one more rule in the same cell, and I can say custom formula equals if, again, j2 is now less than zero, then again we'll say true and false, and this will be for my um, negative performance, and I'll say done. So those are the two uh, conditional formulas. They're looking at column j, the one-year performance, and if that number is greater than or equal to zero, it'll make this cell green. If it's less than or equal to zero, oh, sorry, less than zero, It'll make the cell red. I can then copy the formatting, clicking that button there, and I can paste it down for the rest. And there we go. We can now easily see the stocks that have performed negatively over the last one year. For the volume, um, maybe we'll do something slightly fancier. We might make the volume uh, like a yellow color if the daily volume or the current volume is higher than the average volume, just to point out whether we're experiencing a high volume event. Um, so in this case, again, a custom formula, we've got the average volume is in R and the volume is in Q. So what we'll say is if equals if uh, Q2 is greater than or equal to R2 and true, else false, 
close bracket and I'll choose this orange color and I'll say done. And then again, I'll uh, paste down that formatting. So now we're picking up uh, each of the companies where the real time volume is higher than the average volume. So uh, there's a lot of trading activity going on. Okay, uh, these are the um, price change figures. Uh, I'm just going to color them based on positive and negative. Um, so again, I, now I don't need to do a custom function anymore. I can just say whether the item in the cell is greater than or equal or greater than zero, we'll make it green. And if the item in the cell is uh, less than zero, we will make it red like that. And then I just take that formatting and I do it for all of them. We will steal that formatting and we will put it on the change column. And I just need to turn that back into a percentage. And that is about it. I think maybe we'll gray these last items to make sure that we know that they're non real time values. That's it. That is um, a global watch list using the sheets finance extension. Uh, you'll have noticed that I didn't write any functions directly. I used the function generator to build all of them. Um, though once you start to get used to the functions, they're not overly complicated. For instance, if we have a quick deep dive into this real time one that sits here in K1. All that the function is doing is it's referencing our cells. We're selecting real time as the type as the second argument. And then the third argument is just using this and operator to chain together the items that we want. So we want price, we want um, the change percent, we want open day high day low and, and so on. So you can write it directly. Um, or you can be lazy like I am and you can just use the function generator. I'll put a link to this sheet in the description if you want to make a copy and I'll see you next time.